Hi, I'm Nate at Practical Garden Ponds. Personally, I've always had a desire to marry form and function, to make things practical and beautiful. Today, we're going to talk about how you can do that in your backyard water feature. We're going to talk about hydroponics, aquaculture, or aquaponics when you put the two together. So let's get practical. <music> So in the pursuit of both form and function, we're building this very large ornamental water feature to bring customers in, to show them things they may want in their backyard, trying to have a lot of variety in it. But yet at the same point, it's my pond. It needs to, to be what I enjoy. And of course, I enjoy the entire water gardening hobby, but I also have a bend toward the practical, the things that uh, provide both form and function. This hydroponic trough is, especially for me, this is going to introduce vegetables for the table into our uh, pond situation. So what this is, we've got the loose fitting gravel on the top compartment. We have a lower compartment where the water from the pond, the nutrient rich water from the pond is being dispersed up through the gravel. We'll be growing tomatoes and lettuce and other vegetables in here. But we also have an airline tube running down through this trough to constantly oxygenate and aerate the, the water and the plants as it comes up through. I never understood how hydroponics could work. I used to overwater the vegetables in my garden and they would die. And so I thought, how in the world, if I overwater them in the garden and they die, can you grow those same vegetables in 100% water? It was Demi Fortuna from Atlantic Water Gardens, I'm wearing their hat today as a salute to Demi, who said this, explained this in a way that I could understand. He said to me, Nate, your plants are not dying from too much water. They're dying from too little oxygen. When the dirt becomes mud, it compacts around the roots of the plants and cuts off their oxygen supply. Here in this trough, the plants will be just in this loose gravel, nothing to compact around their roots. It'll have oxygen-rich water coming up through them all the time. That water will be coming from the pond where we'll be growing fish. Of course, we're going to have ornamental fish like everyone wants in an ornamental pond like this, but we're also planning to grow some hybrid uh, bass and maybe some catfish as food fish in this pond. That way, we'll be introducing aquaculture, growing fish for food, alongside our hydroponics, growing plants for food. Together, the symbiotic relationship between the fish and the plants, the fish fertilizing the plants, the plants cleaning the water so the fish can continue to survive. In that symbiotic relationship, hydroponics and aquaculture together, we call that aquaponics. We're going to have aquaponics in this pond um, along with the ornamentals. Don't worry, I plan to have some beautiful imported koi. I'm going to experiment with trying to keep food, fish, and ornamental koi together and see how that goes. But I'm excited about both. I love koi. I love uh, beautiful color patterns and some high quality imported koi are definitely going to be here. But I'm also excited about the food aspect because after all, we are practical garden pods. So let's wrap this up. You too can bring both form and function to your water feature. For me, that means introducing hydroponics, growing vegetables for food, and aquaculture, growing fish for food into my water garden. For you, maybe it just means having a great place to relax where you can lower your blood pressure and enjoy rest by the pond with the sound and the sight of beautiful water. Maybe it means bringing your family together around the pond, but we can certainly help you make your own pond practical to your interests and hobbies. In our next video, we're going to be talking about waterscaping, making that pond beautiful. Until then, don't hesitate to contact me if you have questions on any aspect of water gardening. We look forward to serving you, and don't hesitate to check out our website. Have a great day.